Yeah, this is the, uh, the coffee operation here. So it's quite yes, if they do it properly, sir. The real coffee. Wow. British Airlines could note that. <laughs> the, the slop they served me on the uh, on the flight, I think it was actually from the fuel line rather than uh, from the catering area of the plane. <laughs> so yeah, it's really good place. This good coffee. So I'm very happy. I just had one of those classic moments where I tried to get in. Uh, into the property through the gate using my uh, key buff and it rejected me <laughs> so I went across to the reception ideally opposite the road and told them they rang up the uh, cleaning lady here and of course she's waiting outside for me tries my um, my key my bulb and it works perfectly typical <laughs> another question of it is why is it that a lot of the drying units are installed upside down see this one here I've, I've seen this before um, matter of space where the, where the power point is I don't know what it is but it's not it's not the first time I've seen uh, clothes dryers that have actually been uh, installed upside down oh well just one of life's mysteries oh the uh, the bun I bought that the um, at the bang me place 362 uh, the uh, they only charged me six uh, thousand dong for it so i've been paying fifteen thousand dong for the uh the one from the french bakehouse and i might be a little smaller but i don't really want a big one anyway i just want to shove some um some spinach into it to get, get my greens spinach and a bit of olive oil to get a bit of a healthy balance of food so, i haven't seen one person use this push bike so far there's only one push bike here i think and not on oh, no, those two oh there are two yeah okay three four they're growing <laughs> well there are there's four push bikes but I don't, I've never seen one taken out uh, I I don't know maybe I will maybe I won't I wonder what that is mate that must be a, a um, an emergency power generator and that would make sense actually here because uh, although I haven't had one power blackout I, I get more power blackouts in cans take note ergon so uh, <laughs> Yeah, and I'll check that out. I'm here for three months. We'll see uh, how many power blackouts I have in Ho Chi Minh City compared to Cairns. I suspect that I'll probably be better off here than there. That's how bad Australian infrastructure's become. But the good thing is that uh, it won't worry someone like Josh Frydenberg. He'll just sleepwalk through his portfolio as usual and, and do bugger all like, like most Morrison government ministers. They see that, they think they're on an extended holiday. Good for them. Yeah, I really like that sort of staircase. It's uh, sort of got a very American influence, I think. The classic sort of American design. You see that a lot in movies and what have you, Middle America. And they've got reading literature here, and there's actually one book I went through and just checked them out, and it's one I didn't expect to see, and that was The Man in the High Castle, so, <laughs> which is now made into a, um, a cable series. Quite a good one at that, too. So... Um, yeah, I never expected to see that here. And it's got a fairly evocative design there. The American flag with the swash stickers as the stars. So, yeah, it's not a bad design, actually. So, uh, good old Philip K. Dick. Read that years ago. I haven't read it for a long time. I didn't think it'd be that big. It's got a reasonable size book. I thought it was actually shorter than that, but... Uh, yeah, with my eyesight, it's easy for me to have audio books rather than uh, the print version. I really like audio. It takes long, but it doesn't really worry me because you, um, you can listen to them while you're walking and doing anything else. It's brilliant. But, uh, yeah, I don't, you don't expect... You, you get a lot of romance novels and things like that when you're staying in a place that overseas, I find, that type of thing. But this is actually quite a decent collection of uh, literature. It's always a good day on Monday because uh, it's the uh, day that, uh, that another episode of uh, Get Shorty comes online and uh, that's my favourite show. Again, I just watched the first uh, episode of, what is it, the third series I think? And it was as good as ever. The quality of the writing is astounding and the acting, it's a great ensemble cast, it's just a brilliant show. Um, and in a time of political correctness destroying a lot of the narratives, this one is not being swayed in the slightest by any of that garbage. 
it's uh, sticking to good solid storytelling, good characterization. Uh, and Chris Dowd is absolutely brilliant in a lead role. He just, he owns it. He really owns it. Uh, yeah, it's just, just a joy to watch that sort of uh, TV. It's just such good quality. And uh, very, very lucky to be able to, uh, to see that sort of stuff. Just cable TV is really a revelation these days compared to the dross that uh, broadcast generally serves up. Occasionally they can surprise, but generally speaking, it's, uh, it's always the cable TV in the States that produces the best quality. And occasionally you get some good stuff from Britain too, but um, yeah, I've been watching, I still got to get back and watch more Black Mirror. That, that's a little up and down, but it's not bad. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a good anthology series. There's not many of them around, so yeah, not bad at all. Okay, one more week in District 7, and I doubt whether I'll be here in the, uh, the three months coming up. I think I'm, chances are I'm going to be, I don't know, if I could find a decent place in District 3 I'd be happy, but I, the, the quality of the apartments doesn't look that great, although the location's fantastic. The quality of the apartments in District 2 is great, but it's a little further away. Not as far as this, but not much closer to uh, District 1 and 3. So I've got to do a balance here. But what I was thinking of doing is, is going and doing the inspection, getting having having a look at a couple of these places I like, because they're really nice looking apartments. And get a feel for the area. I've, I've done a street view of it. It's actually not a bad looking area. It's, um, but, uh, it's, you know, it's just the logistics of being... Uh, it's nice when you can actually walk to places, you know, the bars and, uh, and, and food outlets. I mean, I do miss my... Uh, my uh, far bow, the far bow of the end, fantastic place for that. That is the best bow of the end I've come across. The best bow of the end, the best far bow I've come across. It's fantastic. It just the meat is so tender and oh, really top notch. Not that the food here is bad. I just had one dud meal with the with the far bow I had here. And since then I've been going to that local place and it's been good and the coffee here is great. It is better than probably District 1. Uh, cheap, cheap and um, and really high quality. So I don't know. Um, you know, there's not many dud areas in this city. <laughs> there's a lot of good places to go to. It's such a big city, there's so much choice. Um, and this doesn't feel like a bustling city here. This feels like like you're out in a suburb, which I suppose we are. But it just it's a fairly high density. As you can see, there's tall buildings. But there's a lot of places as you, you refer to as mansions as well. It's a real mix, but it's it's a really nice feel about it. And it is good to get away from the hustle and bustle of District One. So if I'm in District Two, I don't think I'll get. I still have hustle and bustle and like the rest of. Of the city it's only this area probably the, specifically this part of, of district 7 which is so different because you go further north in district 7 and it's, it looks more like a typical ho chi Minh. but uh but here is is weird it's just it looks like a diplomatic area you know with, which is usually the most up market area of any city it's just this is what this feels like to me uh, it can be bland a bit little bland but it's actually quite pleasant as well, so it depends what you're looking for. If you're, if you're looking for a slower pace of life, I think this would be perfect. If you've got kids, it'd probably be perfect too. Lots of parks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, interesting. It's always good to go to a different place. Anyway, I'm, I made the right decision not staying at uh, Ahana again. Ahana's a good, great hotel, fantastic location. But if you're going to travel, do different things. That's why I shouldn't have stayed a whole month in Seville. I should have gone somewhere else in Spain. You go all the way over there, you know, check out more of the country. It's a big country. Uh, anyway. I did at least at least go through the tapas for the rate of nuts. I really checked that out big time. And that's, that was one of my goals that I achieved. Yeah, this is what I have to confront to get into Paris here, it's a lot, it makes it difficult, but uh, yeah, it's in a state of construction like nearly everything in this city. Uh, how do I get in? Oh, 
Okay. Come on. <laughs> wow. Yep, so I finally made it here. Now I've had my cranium totally nuked on that. It's a bit more than I'd hoped for. I wish he'd left a little bit more stubble, but uh, now what the hell. Go down here, I think. Uh, yeah, and the dramatic. Uh, <laughs> He'll grow back. <laughs> Bloody guards laughing at me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's... Well, it will grow back. It'll look better when I've got a little bit more growth because that's a bit too dramatic. I'd, I'd like a little bit of darkness around the uh, cranium, not just totally bald, but... Uh, oh, well. I did ask for it. I can't complain. Oh shit. It'll be nice and cool. Well, this is a busy little road here. Oh, I think we should go down here too. It's pretty hot on the main road, so take the side streets. Oh. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about an apartment. I was looking today and it's just. There's a lot to choose from. There's nothing really inspired. The, the nicest ones are in District 2, and it's, it's, ideally I'd like to be in District 3, but gee, it's tough to find something at a decent cost there. And the other problem is a lot of these places, they want, uh, you know, one year or six month leases or whatever. So, you know, for three months, it might limit my options. So I don't know. I'm going to get the guy to show me a couple of those ones in District 2. They look quite nice. So, you know, I don't think I'm going to have a super number of options unless I want to pay through the nose. Uh, I don't need to. I just want a one-bedroom place. I don't, want to, don't need the extra space. I don't want to pay for something I don't need. So I'm looking around 600, 5 to 600 mark US a month, which is very reasonable compared to the rates you pay as a tourist here. So... But I'm freaking out a little bit. It's so funny about the, uh, the getting into uh, Paris that had all the scaffolding. It's exactly the same as what happened to me with the uh, the French bakehouse with the ladder obscuring uh, customers getting into the places. <laughs> uh, Ho Chi Minh, yeah, typical. Well, their price hasn't gone up. It's still uh, eighty thousand for the uh, haircut hair assassination in this case. Uh, at least I missed most of the peak hour traffic. It wasn't hard getting down here because it's just about 2.30 in the afternoon. It's going to start building up now. It's going on about 4 o'clock. Got a stack of time before uh, let's go back to number 5. We'll go back there later. Uh, oh, I don't want to go over that bridge. That's why it may be passed away getting back. Ben Thai, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll, I'll do the tried and true. Yeah, it looks like it'd be a horrible walk. So uh, it's actually not bad walking though, it's not, not that hot. It's warm but it's not hot. It's supposed to be a couple of degrees warmer than that, but it feels okay. It's all that hair I lost. I've got a little bit of hair there, but not much. Uh, yeah, once once the guy went through that uh, that clipper and started shaving off all the hair, but, oh, oh, this is a bit too radical because my hair actually looked a little better after the regrown, so it was in two minds about. It, but I need to get a trim anyway. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever, and uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great. Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.